So, we can make what? Coffee? Anything else? Dinner? Any other ideas? I'll make some tea or hot chocolate after the lesson. Good job, Rita. And we can make a sandwich. Sandwich? I love making sandwiches so tasty and delicious. What a sandwich! Such a tasty sandwich! <clears throat> yes! Good job, Thomas! We can make sandwiches. Really good phrase. And the teacher is making what? Photocopy. Good! So what else can we make in life? Make progress in a lesson. Good! So, pretty easy, yeah? Does everyone understand how to make phrases with me? Got it? Rita, got it? Got it. Thomas, got it? Got it. Good, alrighty. So, let's maybe practice. Let's do an exercise, shall we? Think of at least one phrase we'd make and put it in this sentence. Rita, could you start, please? Sure. Thomas, do you remember what we discussed before the lesson? I am making more money than you. Do you understand? Or do you want me to make a call for my bank and prove it to you? Oh yeah? I'll show you who's making more money. I'll show you. Whoa, 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 guys. Hold on your horses. In English lessons, let's make friends, not enemies, okay? Okay, my phrase with make is this. I'll make myself really comfortable by eating this. Mate, sandwich. Really well done, Thomas. This sandwich is waiting for you after the lesson. Excuse me, teacher Eustace. Uh, I want to make an exercise. <laughs> what did you say? You want to make an exercise? Is it not too difficult for you? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, if you want to make an exercise, maybe you can do it for the next lesson. To prepare for that, think the title of the exercise, then take, think the description of the exercise, Eustace, and then... I think Thomas meant to do the exercise, not make. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, I thought you wanted to create the exercise from scratch, not actually do it. Yeah, let's, let's do the exercise, okay? Excuse me, Eustace, but... Can you remind us when we use phrases with make and when with do? That's a brilliant question. Rita, could you explain to Thomas when we use make and do with noun phrases, please? Sure. We use make when we create or construct something. For example, she made a cake. Or this English school will probably make a profit this year. Or yeah. did you really make that Paper airplane? Thomas, got it. Meanwhile, do focuses on the process of acting or action. I do the shopping on Fridays usually. Or could you do the homework for me next week? Wait, actually, who does your homework for you at home anyway? Thank you, Rita. Really well explained. Yes, there are many, many expressions that go with do or make. Unfortunately, they don't really follow any useful rules, so you have to learn them. All right, let's do the exercise. And the exercise is called, can I say? So, Rita, could you explain the exercise to the rest of the class, please? You have eight sentences, and you need to decide if the sentence is correct or not. If not, you need to correct the sentence. Thomas, got it. But remember, before doing the exercise, don't make mistakes with make. I made a mistake in the exercise. I have to make my homework. I have to take an exam next week. When I get up, I make my bed. I want to make an appointment with the doctor. I'd like to make a photo of you. Really well done, Rita. And uh, Thomas, you're getting there, buddy. The last exercise is called It makes me feel. Finish the sentences. Rita, your friend calls you lazy. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel angry. And Thomas, how does this lesson make you feel? This lesson makes me feel 
Hungry. Desperate. And excited. Okay, for homework exercises 1, 2, 3 and 4. If there are no questions, the class is dismissed. Good luck with your homework. So long. God bless you and see you next time. I love making.